Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download and a 30-day free trial at audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews. Dan Dan the Art Man's Book Reviews, Episode 36, A Minor Magic by Justin R. McCumber. This novel took me on a brilliant adventure, with lots of amazing surprises along the way. I was very pleasantly surprised by this book. I knew it would be good, because I recently read Justin McCumber's other novel, Haywire, which blew me away. But that book is science fiction, which is a genre I love. I'm not usually a reader who looks for stories with a young female protagonist learning about her new magic powers in a post-apocalyptic world, but this book delivered in so many ways. I loved it, and I can't wait for the next one. The story was fantastic. We get to see a young lady come into her own as she discovers her awesome magical powers. Once it gets going it doesn't stop. The moments where the story did slow down for a little while were welcome and did a great job of expanding the characters and weaving in some really interesting backstory. I was never even close to being bored reading this story. So, lots of crazy and really exciting stuff happens in this story, but the characters are a big reason why I loved it. We start with action right away, and then get to see how the character's life changes forever in a huge way. She grows as we get to meet new characters with her. They all proved to be really important to the story and complemented each other in awesome ways. Annoying each other, saving each other, confusing each other, all making for some pretty amazing action, laughs, and even a bit of horror. The characters were vivid in my mind, living and breathing as they explored a world which captured my imagination more and more the farther they traveled through it. There's also a magical realm I won't get into, but let's just say this story world is really intriguing and it will be awesome to see it again in the next book. If you get into this book, I doubt you'll be able to put it down. I think I'll probably reread it again when the next book in the series comes out, just to enjoy it again. I had a lot of fun with this book. I was amazed by the story world, people, and creatures in it. I think Justin has room to have a lot more fun in this universe, and I can't wait to be there for the next set of adventures. Justin did a great job crafting the story, and the way it ended was very satisfying to me while also making me salivate a bit for the next one. The possibilities for the next novel are pretty exciting, and I can't wait to visit this universe again. I also can't wait to tell you that you, the listener of this podcast, can get a free audiobook just for trying Audible's service. If you go to audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews, you can get a free copy of A Minor Magic, written by Justin R. McCumber and narrated by Veronica Jaguer. She is quite the narrator, very good at doing all kinds of different accents, and even if the characters have the same accent, she's great at just making her voice sound different and really kind of giving each character the their own voice, which was fantastic. Um, she did a great job narrating this book. I really enjoyed it. And you can get it for free. Just for trying Audible service, you'll get a free 30-day trial and a free audiobook if you go to audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews. You can choose any audiobook of your choice to get for free, but I highly recommend A Minor Magic by Justin R. McCumber. Now, let's get back to that review. Alright, so I've known Justin, uh, and like I said, I read his book Haywire, and I loved that book. It was just an amazing sci-fi adventure. 
I've actually already reviewed that book on this podcast. And just like a month ago, I believe, I finished listening to the next book in the series that comes after it called A Broken Magic, um, the series of these fantasy novels. <laughs> like I said, uh, going into it, I knew that it would be a good novel because I already saw how great Justin is as a writer when I read his sci-fi novel Haywire, but yeah, even though this isn't normally the genre I choose to read in, it was fantastic. Um, I would say if you like reading books that like the more popular like Divergent or um, uh, what's the one with Katniss Everdeen? Yeah, that one. <laughs> the post-apocalyptic one with um, a main character who is female and strong and funny and awesome. You should definitely check out this book. It's probably even more fun because there's magic in it. So you get to uh, see her like discovering her magic and learning about this crazy world that's so far beyond what she has known so far. And it's a really fun, awesome story. I, I just love coming-of-age adventure stories, and this one was really fun to read. I just really enjoyed it. I gave it five stars, and it's easily like the best book I've read in that genre. And uh, A Broken Magic, the one that comes after this one called A Minor Magic, was also fantastic. And I'll be reviewing that one later down the road. But, um, as far as what I'm going to review next, I'm going to review The Shift Omnibus by Hugh Howey. If you haven't heard of Hugh Howey, you might have heard of his book called Wool, or Wool Omnibus. Shift is a whole bunch of prequels. It's about, I think it was five stories that he put into one omnibus, which is just a collection of stories. And these shift, the shift omnibus is the prequel to Wool. So when you read Wool, you just want to know more about the story world. A whole bunch of people live in under, uh, live in an underground silo. In the outside world, if you go out there, you'll die because it's like poisonous. You, you can't go out there. How did all of this come to be? Well, you find out when you read the shift omnibus by Hugh Howey, and that's what I'll be reviewing next week. So, again, check out Justin R. McCumber's awesome urban fantasy novel, A Minor Magic, which you can get for free at audibletrial.com slash Reviews, read by Veronica Jaguer, who's an awesome narrator. And um, I'll see you again next week for Shift Omnibus. Until then, I hope you guys have a great week and are having a happy new year in this 2016. I am turning 33 in like three days this Friday. So, um, yeah, that's kind of fun. Or, yeah, when you get this age, you kind of stop caring about birthdays. But I'm not sad to be turning 33. I have four awesome kids and a beautiful, amazing wife. And I am so thankful for the life I have and the awesome books I can read and share about with you guys. So have a great 2016 this year and I'll see you next week. Mike, take it away. This podcast is licensed under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial, no derivative works license. Music by Kevin McLeod, found at incompetech.com. The website that goes with this podcast can be found at dandantheartman.com. And you can follow Dan on Twitter, Google+, and Facebook at dandantheartman. For Dan, this is Mike Luoma, saying happy reading, and we'll see you next time.